Hello everyone, it's your bud. Now I cannot get up off the couch today. I'm just running out of energy, but I thought I'd share this awesome website with you. This is the Glimpse 360 website. Once again, Glimpse 360. Now this is something that I learned about from Vsauce, one of the Vsauce channels. I can't remember if it was one, two, or three. Now it is a whole bunch of stitched together photos from the Hubble telescope and it is absolutely incredible. As you can see, there's lots to look at, lots of things stitched together, and this is where it gets absolutely awesome. Are you ready for this? Are you ready? Let's zoom in. Let's see how high res all this gets. It is absolutely incredible. This is one of my favorite sites. I've taken so many screenshots from this. I absolutely love this website. So this is Glimpse 360 and you can just look through space. These are all just stitched together. If you go in close enough, you'll see some of the stitching lines. Now, hopefully this is all right. Hopefully I've got it on the right setting. I'm using my TV right now. Well, I have my computer running through my TV. I tried looking at this with my PlayStation, but it could not load the website. So luckily my laptop can load the website. Now let's zoom out a bit more and do some more exploring. So as I mentioned, I'm feeling really, really bad today. I woke up, well, I tried to go to bed early last night, but I just couldn't go to sleep. Uh, I went to bed at 11 and 4.30 rolled around and I still hadn't fallen asleep. I only fell asleep by around five o'clock and then my alarm woke me up at 7.20. So I got up and I was gonna get to work, but I just, I don't have the energy today. So it's already lunchtime, and before I stop and go have some lunch, I thought I'd share this awesome website. Ooh, what's this thing right here? So yeah, this is Glimpse 360, and I did learn about this from Vsauce years ago. I can't remember which Vsauce channel, as I mentioned, but it's something that I do love looking around on. Sorry you can see all the way up here in the corner the reflection of my aquarium lights, but hey, the fish need lights too. And I'm just, yeah, I'm not really good enough right now. Oh, this is one of the areas that I think I took some pictures of. I love how bright these stars are. So when the Hubble telescope takes pictures, it is not colored like this. This is colored by some people, and the color is meant to just help, you know, people like us who don't know anything about space understand the depth and the actual composition of these things we're looking at. Like, is that a nebula or is that whatever? Well, if they color it in a certain way, it'll be easier for us to infer. I do love these bright stars. Let's go off the beaten path here and let's find something else. Do I have everything on the screen here? Let me just double check. Yeah, I do have the entire screen in the camera's view right now. Oh, that is so cool, isn't it? Let's see if there's stuff up here. Oh, there is some stuff up here. Wow. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So this is what we see from our planet. So of course these are all the constellations, but does that mean that, hmm, why is it all one side? So this is all the stuff that's been, I'm wondering why is there sunlight hitting some areas, I mean, no, sunlight, pardon me for saying that. Why is there some light in some areas and then some light in not other areas? Like, hmm, I guess. Eight. So the only thing that would make these so dim in the darkness compared to all of this down here is if this is what the rest of our galaxy and this is beyond am i just really stupid <laughs> or hmm yeah I, I don't understand why some of it's light and some of it's dark i guess i guess maybe the only difference between this band down here and this stuff up here is this has been colorized perhaps that's the only difference now let's go explore some stuff in space shall we let's go all the way in here see what we can find when we keep zooming in and keep zooming in Oh, that's so cool, isn't it? You're like, oh, are those stars? Are those stars? Well, I think I saw a galaxy up there, didn't I? Yep, yes I did. There's a galaxy. Space is just awesome in here. Do you see the galaxy of my aquarium sump? <laughs> I really should block that out, shouldn't I? But no, I just can't really stand up. Hey, is that a square galaxy? What is that? What is that square right there? That can't be normal. 
Oh, it's just, it's a lens flare effect. But isn't that awesome? Everywhere you look in space, there's galaxies. So this website, Glimpse360, is basically the best thing for just, oh, look how far away that galaxy is. But it's so cool, isn't it? Oh. So I thought I was scrolling a long distance. I'm like, I wonder where we're going to be when I scroll out and we're like, I don't know, an inch away from the sun. <laughs> so let's go explore somewhere else. Let's go. Hey, do I recognize any constellations? I'm not very good with constellations. That looks like some sort of animal. Oh, hey, is that a dipper? No, that's that's, some, that's part of something. I'm no good with these. Let's go. Ooh, yeah, 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 got it. Oh, no, we saw that already. We're back down to the disc. Let's go down below. Let's go over to that yellow sun. Pew. Zoom, zoom. Oh, I thought it zoomed in on wherever the mouse was. Not... Oh. Isn't that awesome? I love how when it comes into focus, you just see how many stars there are. I think you're gonna have to zoom out a lot. If I'm gonna try to scroll through space to get to that bright star, then it would have taken me a long time. So center that in the screen first. Then when I think I have it center, let's zoom in. How close did I get? Hey, not too bad. I wonder what star this is. Whoa. So it's pretty cool. I hope the coloring is good on the camera. I won't know until I get this in the editing, but I have my TV on relax. Let's just do a few different settings and who knows, maybe maybe things will change. Let's put it on uh, the movie one. Movie one takes away all the colors, but hmm, that makes it for like true. Yeah, so the movie one, let's, let's try it on movie just for a bit and see what things look like. So it really does... Hmm. That's kind of neat. All right, I think let's just go back to relax because that one, I think this one, relax mode, is the one that I use for like cartoons or things like uh, Star Wars. The lightsabers in Star Wars just pop when you use this relax setting. All the colors are just so great. I try to keep the interesting stuff over here on this side of the screen so you... So the reflection doesn't block it too much for you. Ooh, what's this blue star? I guess it's just another star. <laughs> but isn't this awesome? Everywhere you look, there's galaxies upon galaxies upon galaxies, all hiding behind every star. Wow. So you may have noticed, but my channel banner has some uh, pictures of space behind it, and I'm pretty sure I got them from searching through here. Ooh, yep, yep, I remember this star cluster, I think. This bright, oh, I keep clicking on them as though when I click on it, it's going to zoom exactly into where I want it to. But no, center first, then zoom. I did just zoom there, we're gonna have to wait for the computer. Oh, look at this little cluster of stars. And I think you can see there one of the, uh, what is it? I don't know, well, just the lines where they uh, stitch this all together. Stitch lines, that's it. And my mind is just gone. I really, really wanted to write some scripts for you guys. Oh, did I bump my camera? No, I think it was good. Okay, yeah, sorry about that. Um, yeah, I really wanted to write some scripts for you guys about some lore stuff. I was thinking maybe some 40K might be good, maybe some Star Wars stuff. I've been thinking lots about space recently, but I just don't have the energy to put the time into a good script, and then after I put the script together, I have to have the energy to narrate with actual energy in my voice. It's really, really a shame when I don't have the energy in my voice, but I have a good script written. So these are all colored blue. Let's see if there's some other ones that uh, the people color differently. But yeah, there's the script writing, then you have to narrate, then after you narrate, you have to search online for pictures, and when you search online for pictures, then you have to put it in, and then you have to edit it, and then once you edit it, you have to render it for a few hours, and then you have to double check it, and then once you double check it, you find out, oh no, wait, oh, this is one of my favorite ones. We're going to look at this in a moment or two. But yeah, after the editing, you have to double check, and then after double checking, there's just more and more, and it just keeps going, and keeps going. So is this the one that, yeah, I think I love this one because 
So yeah, this was way easier just going on to Glimpse 360. I always think this right here is a being. This is the heart of a being. There could be a big face up here and it's reaching one arm out right here and it's reaching the other arm out and it's like reaching out for this star. Doesn't it look like it? Like if this is the heart of a being and it's got these two arms reaching out for this star, I think that looks so cool. I love this neb... This is... Is this a nebula? It's, uh, I can't remember the name of this one. I did learn some of this stuff when I first looked this up because I absolutely loved this nebula thing here. I took so many photos of it. I mean, I'll just, all I need to do is just like hit the screenshot button. But isn't this great? Like, let's just, let's see how far can we zoom? How far will it load? Let's zoom in and see what happens. Nothing's happening. Okay, so I guess that's as far as we can zoom. <laughs> Which still, let's see how giant this thing is now. So that is just crazy, isn't it? I mean, you can just take screenshot after screenshot. Oh, I love that thing. Yeah, it looks like a being reaching out to claim another star. Now let's find the other ones down here, this big cluster. Let's see, I don't think this one is actually as interesting. I think I was thinking of the other one. But this looks just so cool. See, I love the, ooh, I love all the different colorings and, oh, it's just so neat. Like, you see all of this and then it's sort of like, you know when you're on a beach and you see all the sand on a beach and then the light hits it in a right way and it just sparkles? That's what that looks like to me. So actually, especially the, uh, this nebula up here, the way they, the way that the uh, NASA people colored it to look like sand or like gold dust or something like that, I think that looks a lot like sand or sparkles, but I just love it. Those are stars and galaxies that makes up all of that. Doesn't that just like, I don't know, my mind just can't really comprehend that I'm looking at stars and galaxies in such mass that it makes it looks like that, that it makes it look like piles of sand. Okay, let's go somewhere else in the galaxy now. Or in the universe, I guess. Yeah, let's see where else we can go. Let's go back up top, I think. Or maybe we're looking sideways. I have no idea. Apparently we're going here. Let's see where here is. Well, here has some stars. <laughs> Just some... Oh, that looks like a galaxy down there. I think my computer's frozen. Oh, no, it's not frozen. I cannot believe my computer hasn't frozen yet. I only have the mouse here with me right now. I can't get it to scroll this way. Come on. Scroll, you stupid thing. Yeah, that is a galaxy. For some reason, it won't let me move... Uh, right to left, but it will let me move up and down. I think maybe I've spun this thing around too many times. Oh yeah, so I was I was at like I was at the bottom of the globe. So since I was at the bottom of this globe model, it wasn't really registering my scrolling because I was literally trying to scroll around. I mean, think of how. If I zoom in so much, you can just zoom in so much that... Oh, I love, I love the flare. But yeah, so I was... Imagine a spinning top. Now imagine if you could zoom in to the bottom of where the top's spinning so much that you couldn't tell up from left and down and right. So I was so zoomed in on that spot. Oh, I think this is a reflection of the actual Hubble telescope. I think this is a reflection, so you can see there's the uh, telescope. So camera just shut off there for a moment, but I'm, now I'm back. So as you can see, I think this is the telescope disc and this would be the suspended camera in the middle taking the pictures. So the light hits the disc and it bounces back and the camera takes a picture. I think that's how it works. I don't know, but isn't that awesome? <laughs> it's a selfie of the Hubble. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Ooh, look how, what, what, what is that? It just looks like someone cut a hole out. <laughs> and look how many 
stars there are. And when I say stars, of course, I mean galaxies, nebulas. Let's see, is that a galaxy? I gotta stop looking through the camera. I'm looking through the camera instead of at my TV. Oh yeah, that's, that's super blurry. <laughs> I've zoomed in really, really far there. Is that a comet or is that a stitch? Oh, and I don't know, is it a comet when it's in the atmosphere and a meteor? No, I think it's a meteor when it enters the atmosphere and a comet when it's outside, right? So is this just a stitch? Is this a reflecting line? I think that's another one of the weird reflecting lines, but hey, we found the Hubble selfie. <laughs> Let's go up, do you want to, should I go here? Should I go here or should I go down there? Have we been down there yet? No, we haven't been down there. But I want to see some more of the uh, pink colored stars because I do like those. There's one called the, uh, what is it? I can't remember, it's something Fire Nebula and it is, it's, it's my favorite. It might be my favorite just because it's colored pink. And again, these are all colored by the uh, like NASA scientists or whatever. I don't know whose job it is to color stars. I wonder if they do it by like actually determining scientific details about, oh, this has certain radiation, therefore we know it's this color, or if they just color things to make it the most visibly attractive. Because, I mean, I couldn't tell you if this is uh, act if this is some sort of accurate representation and maybe the colors are very much like a uh, sort of like a density map how like you'll have some colors saying oh this color means this is more dense this color means it's less dense I'm not sure if there's any more detail to these colorings than just something to signify the mass behind it oh that's so cool isn't it <laughs> I just really love the uh, purple nebulas they're one of my favorites Hopefully I'm not getting too close to the camera here. Hopefully I'm not getting too loud. Oh, and I think you can see some stitching here where they stop the coloring. They're like, yeah, this is a cool nebula. We'll color this. Yeah, this is a cool one. We'll color this. Oh, there's nothing we're going to color there. So now we've checked out that pink one. There was some more down here, wasn't there? That was the selfie right there. Let's, let's go down here. Have we checked out those? Was those the blue clusters of stars before? And oh, what's, no, no, I, th I thought that was a giant cluster of stars. No, that's just the reflection of my aquarium, idiot. <laughs> I wonder how many of you have stuck with the video so far. Oh, no, we saw this guy. This was the thing that's holding out its two arms outstretched to consume the sun. So we've been here. How do we end up back to this part of the galaxy? Or universe again? So I think we saw that star as well. That was that one star that we started with. Who oh, pardon me, don't don't think I'm getting bored. I'm just uh, it takes a uh, it just takes a lot of effort to sit up straight and not be lying down on the couch today. I thought, hey, I'll wake up at seven o'clock or so and I'll have hours and hours to get my energy ready to write a video and then Every hour closer to lunch, I just get more and more tired. <laughs> I think I'll probably just make some lunch and then just take it easy for the rest of the day. <sighs> oh, some more stuff popped in. Let's see, is this just more? Let's go back to the uh, big colored band. Let's see, if they found it worth coloring, then there's got to be some stuff in there. Let's move this over. Oops, that was way too far. Let's move that over to the middle-ish, and let's see what we get when we do full zoom. Wow. I mean, if that doesn't like just make you think, then I don't know what can. And yeah, the sunset colorings, like the palette that they chose to color in these stars, the fact that it's all sunset-like, I don't think that's doing any benefit to me to keep me awake right now. I think when I'm staring at all these pretty sunset colors, that's like just making me sleepy. <laughs> it's like, the, it, it honestly looks like the color of the lava lamp that I have by my bed. I have a purple and pink lava lamp, 
So it's, yeah, I got these like pink floaty globs in this purple liquid and it looks almost identical to this. I use a, I use a pink and purple lava lamp as a sunset lava lamp and then I have an orange and yellow one. It's like a sunrise lava lamp. So if I'm making some videos and the sun doesn't come up in the winter, I can turn on my lava lamp and make it seem like there's a sunrise. Or if the sun's set and it's three o'clock in the morning and I just want to see a nice sunset, then I can turn on these sunset colored lava lamps. Ooh, for some reason, this just looks really cool. Doesn't, don't these just all look just so fluffy? It's like cotton candy, isn't it? <laughs> they did color the entire stars like cotton candy with this like <laughs> blue rocks inside of it. <laughs> cotton candy with meth. That's the coloring scheme they went with for the entire space. <laughs> Alright, time to move on. We did see that guy before, I think. No, I think we were actually over there. Pardon me, yawning again. Looks like we have another Hubble selfie. Ooh, I like this selfie better. This is like a straight on selfie. Wow. How many, how many, okay, seriously. How many stars do you think are in this selfie of the Hubble telescope? I, I, so what is it? Every, Every grain of, I, I, what, what's the saying for how many stars there are in space? But that's absurd. Imagine how many other stars are in this selfie. Like, that is just crazy. And they're making the new uh, Webb telescope. I think that one is the James Webb telescope. I think that one, has that, has that launched? I wonder if, I don't think, uh, Oh, I don't want to say it because YouTube demonetizes for mentioning the pandemic, but yeah, I don't, I hope the health crisis, I don't think it's gotten too much in the way of all the big NASA stuff because they have all of their clean rooms already. Like they have to have super, super duper clean rooms to make anything for space. So I don't think they're quite as stopped up as the rest of the world, but I think that new telescope was supposed to be going into service, wasn't it? Hmm. Can't remember. <laughs> Hey, the way my mind works, that might have already been a few years ago that that happened. Okay, gotta zoom out a bit. Uh, there's another part of a selfie. But it looks like they got rid of the selfie when they colored it in. <laughs> so we found three selfies of the Hubble telescope so far. That's pretty funny. Sorry that I keep yawning, but it is just so relaxing to just stargaze like this. <laughs> Who needs a telescope when you have Glimpse 360? Once again, this website is called Glimpse 360. It is completely free. It works on my laptop that's like a decade old, so I can even look at it on my PlayStation. On my PlayStation 4, it even loads that. Is that another Hubble, or is that just some stuff there. Hmm. But yeah, this is free to look at and thank you Vsauce for letting me know about this in one of their things to do online now guys video or the dong series. <laughs> I can't remember which Vsauce that was. Like I remember what the guy looks like but I can't remember what the three names of the three Vsauce dudes were and their three channels. I think it might have been Hmm, yeah, I can't, I can't remember. I, I don't want to get it wrong. <laughs> but yeah, Vsauce was always interesting to watch. Lots of new things to learn about. I probably should have uh, come up from the bottom of the screen to do an intro. I probably should have like done a, hey, me here, <laughs> you know. Hey, BC Bud here. I probably should have done that, come up from the bottom of the screen if I'm gonna be mentioning Vsauce, but I don't think it was um, his channel that showed me this. I think it was one of the other ones. 
and I'm just too tired. I do not look camera ready. I am not camera ready. I, <laughs> I'm quite a mess right now, which is why I'm behind the camera instead. I'm using all of space to distract you from how <laughs> uncamera ready I actually am. Is it working? <laughs> So one of the things that I absolutely hate, hate, hate about living in a city is the amount of light pollution. I never get to see the stars. Even at like one or two in the morning, there's always some neighbors with some lights going on. The street lights are always happening just below my window. So unfortunately there's always light pollution. I never really get to see the stars. Let's go off searching into the universe again. We'll go not too far, we'll go to this orangey sort of stuff. But yeah, all the light pollution, I hate it. I wish I could live away from the city just so I could see it. Whenever, whenever I go up island or whenever I just even get slightly away from the city down to the beach, even going to the beach is enough. Whoa, this is super detailed. So yeah, even going down somewhere to the beach is just like far enough away that I can get away from the lights, but in the heart of downtown, there's so much light pollution. You can hardly even see the Big Dipper sometimes, or the Little Dipper, or whichever one it is that I see. I learned about stars and stuff like that back when, you know, school, you go on school trips and things. Since I'm disabled, I never really got to go on too many school trips, but there were a few and you don't really forget things like that, so. But it's been, it's been decades since I learned about this. All the other stuff I know about space I learned from sci-fi shows. <laughs> Whoa, this one's super detailed too. I think that's about as far as I can go, keeping it super, super sharp. Yeah, I really love this sort of orangey gold dust coloring. It might be one of my favorites aside from the purple ones. I do not know how long this video is. This video is probably getting pretty long here, isn't it? I should probably wrap it up soon. So remember, this is Glimpse 360. G-L-I-M-P-S-E 36D. Oh <laughs> no, 360, not 360. But it rhymed, so I had to say it like that. Let's go look at the uh, selfie of the telescope again, because I noticed that was there. Actually, no, let's not. Let's go completely random. Completely random, I'm just gonna spin it. Spin, spin, spin. See, once you get up to the top, it doesn't really spin the way. So you get sort of trapped into some loops. All right, let's go here. There's... There's either nothing here or my... Oh, I zoomed in that far. So I can zoom in so far that it takes one to it yeah it takes like two seconds i have this like insanely fast mouse look how like probably won't be able to see it too well but this thing scrolls like crazy you can probably hear it this thing is insane you can scroll through so much with this <laughs> look like there was a light trail thing there for a moment All right, yeah, this will be the end of the video here. I'm just gonna zoom in on some last stars. Let's see if we can find a galaxy amongst these. Oh, there's a galaxy right there. That right there is a galaxy. You can see the spirals and everything. Look at that one, perfect spiral galaxy. Well, thanks for watching everyone. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. I certainly enjoyed making this video. And thanks for giving me a break. Uh, the lore videos do take a lot out of me. Again, I have to write a script, then I have to narrate with energy, then I have to find pictures, then I have to edit it, then I have to proof watch the whole thing, and then after that, I have to usually, I mean, usually I'll be able to render it, and then after I render it, I'll do a proof watch and have to re-render it because there's a mistake. Oh, there was some lines. I did see something. I wasn't going crazy. What is this? What are these reflections? Are these more Hubble reflections? Hmm. But yeah, there's just...
just so many steps to making a video for you guys. I was maybe gonna make a music video for you guys today, but it just it's just not in the cards. Hey, is that a Hubble selfie within a reflection of a Hubble selfie? Or no, I think this is just some I wonder what these dots are down here. I will leave you with that question. If you think you know what these dots are in this beam of light reflecting, then let me know. Hmm, wonder what that thing is. Oh, there's a bunch of them. There's a bunch of them. Do, 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 do. Hmm. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. Go check out Glimpse360 if you want to stargaze. It's a super fun website to just lose yourself in. You can get lost looking through the stars for hours and hours and hours. It's definitely something I've done a lot. So, thanks for watching. Leave this video a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe for daily videos. I make at least one video every single day. And for those people that are kind of new, and if I, you haven't heard me mention it before, I am disabled, and right now things are pretty rough. But in a few months, things should start getting better for me. And I know that's pretty strange for me to say, but as a disabled person, I always have to think long term. So the next few months might be a little bit difficult. There might be a bit more content like this instead of the content that I'm super proud of, instead of those long scripted videos with lots of cool artwork. But I will get back to those eventually. And eventually my health will get good enough that I'll be able to do that constantly. But for now, I'm glad that I get to share it.